at the end of the day, the boss is not going to give you raises to be more rich than the boss. Like, this is how much you're worth for an hour of your life that you'll never get back. Is it worth that? Of course, we're pushed to go to school and get that good job. But what about afterwards? Like, it'll bring you such more peace whenever you view that job as your first investor and not as like a, a death sentence or like the end all be all. I can't work a nine to five. Well, I have to now, obviously, but something about working in a nine to five makes me feel so like restricted. It feels so against my nature. Just, I don't like it. And before you say, oh, th like, this generation is lazy. This generation doesn't want to work. I don't believe that. I just feel like we're living in the most expensive time in human history. Argue with me on that. And, you know, a lot of us are trying to think outside the box to figure out how are we going to pay for our existence on top of actually enjoy our lives and not feel trapped the most expensive thing in life is time that's why the worst punishment is time right there's something that irritates me about having to ask somebody for time off if i'm sick having to ask somebody for time off to do something important to me or to be with family like, it's actually sick that a job can sit there and convince you that just because you started working newly at the job, you need to sacrifice time with your family on holidays and be there and not with your family when life is short. Like, <clears throat> when you're laying on your deathbed, or at least for me, I'm not going to be laying there saying to myself, damn... You know, I, I wish I would have pulled more uh, nights or more days at that job on Christmas or on New Year's. On No, it's going to be like my memories and who I spent it with. And I feel like I don't like my freedom being stripped from me. And it doesn't feel like an equal trade. The amount of money working for somebody else gives you at the end of the day. The boss is not going to give you raises to be more rich than the boss. Or a boss is not going to give you raises more worth than what they deem you worth. Like, this is how much you're worth for an hour of your life that you'll never get back. Is it worth that? Like, even thinking about, and trust me, you know, I was the kid who did well in school. I graduated high school a year early as a junior. I, I graduated college early. You know, I became a nurse and my first job was McDonald's. I, I served at Hooters. I, I worked like various jobs through college. Um, and it's, it's, everything is coming full circle to me. It's just weird that like, from childhood we're just told like yo you know the pinnacle of life or where we need to get to is that nine to five job that pays us a lot and essentially I felt like as a kid oh my gosh I go to college I do the work and you know I do something it, it could definitely be something that you love and you'll be rich until you become an adult and you realize like yo like I'm being controlled. My time is being controlled. Do I want to do this for the next 40, 50 years? Like, you know what I mean? And then just looking at the people around me, looking at the older people around me and my family, like friends, uh, stuff like that, who are, you know, approaching retirement age or like, and I'm looking at them and I'm like, yo, like all of your youth all of your 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s were spent in an office or a facility, you know, and just uh, there's something just like not like I don't want that for my life. And like 
and even looking at the highest paid jobs like something something there's something weird to me like for instance there's no price on a human right like how much would a human even cost you know a million dollars like who who knows like if you were to put a price tag on a person there's no amount of money that would equal or would even be like efficient enough to determine the cost of a human being like that's even sick to think about and when you look at the most highest paying jobs that people went to college for and they're being paid maybe fifty dollars an hour a hundred dollars an hour you know like stuff like that I'm like for an hour of you being alive breathing and laboring you're worth a hundred dollars and I know some people like that might be a lot some of the like I don't know like even the six figure highest paid jobs working a hundred thousand dollars a year there's millionaires there's multi-millionaires who are not celebrities who are not athletes you know and they have full control over their time yes a lot of their work might go to entrepreneurship and running their business but they don't have to ask somebody yo my child is sick could I stay home? Yo, I'm sick. Could I stay home without arguing or trying to prove that you're actually sick or trying to get somebody to cover you? Those people exist. And those people don't work nine to fives. They don't. Those people sometimes bring in somebody's whole entire year income in a day, in a week, in a month. You know what I mean? And it just pushed me to, like, as a human being, I feel like you never stop learning. And it really pushed me to do research. Like, yo, I went to school. I studied what was being handed to me. How about I study things that will really make a difference in my life, will really make a difference in my family's lives, like, will really change the trajectory of everything because... The track that I'm on now, yes, it's a blessing to be a nurse. I get to help people, you know, but I, I'm looking at it like I want to be able to help my parents. You know, I want my kids to never have to worry about shit. You know, I mean, of course, they're going to be instilled in them to to like work hard and to find something to do and stuff like that, of course. But I just remember trying to find money to be able to afford to even go to nursing school and it was like yo like no college fund no no, like it furthering your education is not cheap and the further you go the more scarce those scholarships are the harder the school system makes it for those for people to progress and, and make it to those top high paying jobs because why would they make it any cheaper like people are like make school cheaper why would they make it any cheaper to make the higher paying jobs more accessible to more people they're not gonna do that it's like you have to fend for yourself and that's what I'm trying to do but there's millionaires walking around like how did you do that how how, you know like and one thing about YouTube it really showed me that there's a lot of people out there who think like me so I know I'm not alone I know that if there's a will, there's a way. And sometimes it's a little discouraging whenever you talk to people who've been essentially running this rat race their whole lives, like they can't see beyond that or they can't see a way that's not that. And even just coming from like an immigrant household where, you know, they seen back in their own country, like where going to school was even harder to be able to do so of course we're pushed to go to school and get that good job but what about afterwards you know I graduated and it's like I'm like next move what next how do I upgrade myself do I go back to school if is this the field that I want to do for the rest of my life when reality hits and you're actually doing that job that you worked your whole entire life for you're like do I love this enough to sacrifice my time for the next 40, 50, 
years? Will I be happy? Will I be able to do the other stuff that I wanted to do? Travel, try new things, meet new people. And whenever you start realizing like it's not aligning, it gets scary. So I'm having a hard time looking at the camera. So I've been telling myself that I'm going to use my jobs as my first investor. This is not the end all be all. This doesn't have to be the end all be all. There should be a way. I want to enjoy my youthful days. I want to be able to spend time with my family. I want to not feel restricted. I'm very grateful to work the job that I have now. But, you know, I don't have to be tied, have these ties to a job for the rest of majority of my life. You know, it's crazy to me to spend all those years working just to be given, what, five to ten years of retirement where you're not old to the point where you don't even want to leave your house or do anything or like, you know, that's if you're blessed to have good health, you know. You know what I mean? If you're blessed to be able to still walk or to still have your mind, you might be perfectly physically healthy. and But you don't know what life has for you. Like, will you still have your mind? Will you still have the willpower to travel? You know, life has showed us that in the drop of a hat, things can change. You know, COVID really showed us that, yo, like there are certain jobs that were up and out of there. And, and not deemed as essential or people weren't deemed as essential workers and it was it there was no money to be made but who had to re-strategize and make more money the entrepreneurs so if you're thinking about entrepreneurship i think the longer you sit on it the harder it becomes and you don't have to get up and like open a business tomorrow but just like how you went to school or you started working your way up in a company and you didn't just get that to the next level tomorrow. Um, start educating yourself. That's what I'm doing. I'm literally on YouTube and I watch people who inspire me and like I'm learning about fields that I didn't even deem were even real or didn't, weren't heard of and just really like locking in on information and trying to figure out like what can I do for myself to help my family to help me to make my life more about me you know um so no I don't hate jobs I I, I know I'm not saying to no, I'm not saying to quit your job but I'm saying like use that job as an investor and I feel like it'll bring you such more peace whenever you view that job as your first investor and not as like a, a death sentence or like, um, you know, like the end all be all. It takes money to make money. So it's good that you you are working. It's, it's good that you went to college and made a way to bring in more income. It's what you do with it that really changes everything. So yeah, this was just a little discussion. I don't know. I just be talking about stuff that I like to talk about on YouTube. Like, y'all, let me know what you want to talk about. Let's talk. Let's chill. Like, you feel me? Like, yeah. Bye, guys. Love you. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you in another video. Bye.